So good morning, Xenia. Thank you very much for your talk. Um, I wonder, what was the main message uh, of your talk? The risk assessment of FCMs is not being done according to the most current scientific understanding. And FPF uh, food packaging form works to bring the scientific background information which can then be used to improve the safety of food packaging. Uh, for example, in chemical risk assessment, uh, it is considered that very large molecules are not toxic because they would not be taken up through the gut wall when they are consumed with food. However, you have microorganisms living inside human guts, the so-called gut microbiota, and um, they also contribute to human health, and their importance is being more and more recognized currently. However, and uh, this uh, microorganisms would be affected by molecules of any size, so for this they would not have to be taken up by the human body. However, this aspect is not currently being taken into consideration when looking at the safety of food packaging, and we work to provide, to highlight this aspect so that they can be used in the future. So you made a distinction in your talk between risk assessment on, on the one hand and risk management on the other hand. Where would you say, where do the, the greatest challenges lie currently when it comes to these two domains? Mm -hmm. It depends on from which perspective you consider the challenges. So of course from the terms of incorporating science into uh, risk uh, understanding, I would say this is a an issue for risk assessment more, while risk management is taken care of by the regulators. And they are the ones which should take into account the risk assessment understanding and to make the bold and uh, bold risk management decisions which would be protective uh, of human health. Okay, thank you very much and thanks again for your great talk.